Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of what we do as a private art design college is we want to be able to have some kind of contact with every single individual. Because of our size, we do everything in one roof, which is unusual. The amount of space that we allocate for a student is really high. We're open 24 hours a day. Part of doing the studio, we, of course, we have double the amount of contact time in the studio that you have in your liberal arts classes. Yeah. Because part of doing that is working one on one. You know, our biggest studio, of course, you know, if we're a little overloaded, will be will be 20. But I think the more average size is probably between about, about uh, 10 and 18. At the core of our education, we believe that there's a studio practice. You know, the type of research you do, a particular type of work ethic, and then your actual practice as an artist. So that's, that's number one. That's like the core that everything else fits inside of. The second is what we're calling artists at work. And so we want people to, to be able to do that in, uh, in the world. The other thing is place. Uh, about being in Maine, um, we think there's something specific about being in Maine that makes us particularly unique. Maine has always been a place that's been attracted to artists um, you know, since the since 1800s. People have come here for inspiration, both for natural beauty, but I also think because of Portland is like this funky sort of weird city. You know, you've got uh, urban culture, skateboarders, graffiti artists, a tattoo parlor every five uh, feet, um, <laughs> lots of music venues, great food. The fourth would be community, that when you come here we expect everybody to be part of a community here. Uh, and that means different things for different people. Point number five of the educational philosophy is the most abstract, uh, but it's this notion of ethics. I'm trying to step out of my own um, presumptions, my own cultural assumptions, and my own aesthetic and intellectual values, right? I'm trying to put those aside. I'm trying to understand what it is that you're valuing and why. But if we think so sort of deeply about what that means, that means that we're sort of culpable and responsible for each other.